in anywhere the project dashboard is the focal location for activity in enterprise you can access your estimates you can access your contracts estimates being for the estimators contracts being for project managers if you want to make that split and um, uh, access can be controlled to both now from the projects screen we've got our folder structure here and you can see that there's a single project in Ed's folder. If we click on projects, we can see all of the projects. If we click on uh, 2020, we can see that there's one project in there and um, the project one is the only one in Ed's folder. Now if we click on that project, then that will open it up to view the dashboard. And uh, that's a quick way to get to any estimates or any contracts that you're working on. Now, once you're inside the project, we can double click it and get into the project. We can also navigate to the, the other screens within the project, uh, being info, files and links, and we can also navigate to estimating and change management. So the primary function here is to control access to estimates and contracts. So in your settings in your security manager, you will have settings that will allow you to go into estimating and not into uh, contracts or contracts and not into estimating, depending on how you set things up. Now, some of the things you can do here, first of all, is you can hide all of your mistakes, which is important. So I've got a bunch of mistakes that I made. And so those estimates are now hidden from view. So Accessing the estimates from here is a simple matter of double clicking uh, either one of these. Now, this second estimate here is a winner. So it's first. And so that's a that's a good thing, of course. And therefore, I want to freeze it. Now, when it's frozen, that means that you can still get into it or anyone can get into it. Usually, if you're the chief estimator, uh, you have access to freeze an estimate. So if you double click that, it's going to open up and you'll be able to see everything, but you won't be able to change anything about it because we want to preserve that price. It's been negotiated. It's been uh, manipulated so that the, uh, the dollars in the estimate have been reallocated. The handoff procedure has happened and all the adjustments have been made. So in this case, the, the takeoff pad is locked down. It's, it's frozen. You can't use it. Anything from the database is, is frozen, you can't use it, and so is everything else. So it, the extension screen, which normally has plenty of access for you to make changes, is all locked down. Everything's on a yellow background and therefore not editable. And that goes all the way through to closeout, where we have uh, final pricing and um, all the everything leading up to it is locked down. So this is the final price. And that's what freezing does, is it prevents anyone from making a change to any of these numbers. So the nice thing is that we can go right back to the dashboard from this screen or from anywhere, really, uh, when we're estimating. We can go back to the dashboard and we can, uh, you know, take a look and even uncheck this so that it's not frozen anymore. One of the things that we can do here is if this is first and we're going to freeze it, then we're going to prepare it for handoff. And that means that uh, it's going to become a contract and we've made adjustments and changes. And we're going to use the default bid summary as the basis for our contract. So we're going to prepare it for handoff. So once we do that, then the, the base bid information is going to come forward. The final price is here. And if we want to, we could say, well, we got a little feedback that says we were about 5% low. So if we were to say that and put that in here, then you can calculate your competitor was about 895. Uh, or if you got some feedback that said that uh, your competitor, competitor was at 865, then it'll back calculate the percentage that you were out. Now those are very nice numbers, nice and safe, and you can be happy with that kind of a, a differential or a spread. But now this, this estimate is ready to be turned into a contract, all of the information about the estimate will be added to the contract, including all of the, the quotes, all of the uh, designation items, all the subcontracts, all the information that was used to generate that 800 and 
uh, $53,000 is going to be transferred into the contract. So at this point, we're in the, the estimate dashboard. And if we want to get back to the project, we just need to click project. And that will give us the project dashboard. And we can tell that we're in the project by, we can just see these info and files and links locations. Whereas in estimating, there is info, files and links, designations, takeoff, extension, and so on. The project dashboard, of course, is where you can add a contract to, to this particular project and manage it moving forward. We hope you enjoyed this video. Visit mep.trimble.com for even more product resources.